Right, what is good YouTube? My name is Emil Ross and in today's video I want to talk with you about um, a problem, so to speak, that I see with dojo owners pretty often and that is pretty uh, common in today's world, especially in the martial arts industry and that I want to discuss with you and that basically I want to also tell you how you can solve this. Um, the problem I see is that people don't really stick to stuff or that they just have too many variables in their dojo. Um, so, for example, they have five different offers, so they have like one-year contract, six-month contract, three-month contract uh, with ten different pr pricing structures and then they but if they do this upsell then they also give them like a free uniform and they don't really know themselves what kind of offers they're all running and uh, they're, they're, like everything is just too fucking complicated to be honest uh, they're, they're like they're having three Instagram pages for their dojo already because uh, I didn't like this one, I like this one more. And then they, they are now doing creating their fifth logo for their dojo. And um, they didn't like their old website, so they straight to overwork it again and again and again. Then they have like like the referral system. It's not like one simple referral system. They have like, all right, if you bring one friend, then it's like this. But if you bring a family member, it's like this. Then it's like this, then it's like this. It's just not predictable. It's just chaos. Like their, their dojo is just chaos, basically. And like... I don't get it. Our, our, our best best example of this is student acquisition. People are like they're running Google ads, TikTok ads, Facebook ads, all at the same time. All thinking, all right, this is gonna work out. This is gonna work out. This is gonna work out. What the fuck? Well, when I'm seeing this, when I'm hearing the, hear, hearing this for people, I'm, just, I'm always like, what's going on here? Let's simplify your dojo a little bit more. What you wanna do is you wanna have one of everything. You wanna have one pricing model, one way of student acquisition, one referral pro program. One website, one sales system, one of everything basically. Because the less complexity you have in your business, the more you can focus on perfectionizing the systems that you have. Pricing model, what you might say for example is there, well but adults class is just cost differently than kids class, right? Alright, change, like, this is not what I'm saying, it's like, or, but like don't have like these 50 upsets just by, alright, one membership adults, one membership kids. One referral system for for people bringing in another person one referral system for family members one website one instagram page one logo one one way of student acquisition maybe or maybe two because you have word of mouth and the referral system and then you have also um for example facebook ads had a good lead follow-up process and then once you find something that works and for example once you find like a website that works that gets you get your leads you just stick with it you don't change it uh, you find Facebook advertisements that work and the follow-up process that works, you don't change it, you just stick to it. And you then you just do more of it. Don't switch around all the time between all of those variables. Trust me, you don't want to do this. You want to have your dojo as simple as possible. And just make everything as simple and as straightforward as possible. Have one of everything. Trust me, you will fuck up your dojo completely. Because like when you're at the state of like 0 to 10k per month, alright, it's alright if you if you switch around a little bit, right? Your, your, business, your dojo is kind of like a speedboat, right? So you're getting a little bit off the course, but then you can straight up get back on the course, right? But you have to stay on track all the time, so to speak, right? Like if a speedboat, like, what I say, it, it just flips, so to speak, if you, if you get off course, right? It just flips around and your dojo metaphorically fails. Not just metaphorically, your dojo fails. Like in the, in the early stages, you're like a speedboat. But when you get bigger, you essentially uh, become more like a cruise ship, so to speak. I hope this example makes sense, but when you get bigger, like it, it's it is more important what decisions you make and how these decisions impact your dojo. Like it becomes more about like what decisions you make today that they will implement imp impact like the long term play of your dojo. And then if you like, if you change everything around all the time in the day to day life, like, your long term game will be completely fucked. And if your dojo is not simplified in the beginning, like like where you are at ten k per month with your dojo. If you then scale your dojo to 100k per month, what will happen is that you'll basically just scale all of the problems that you'll have at 10k per month. You will just scale the problems basically. So you'll basically 100x the problems that you had at 10k per month already. And trust me, it's just going to be a headache. So best, from the beginning onwards, just have everything as simple as possible. You can switch around a little bit in the beginning to, to find out what works. As soon as something works, just stick with it. and. Uh, Later on, like it becomes more about decision making, and then don't switch around so much and just stick with what works. But in order to get to ten k per month, you have to do something that works already, and you just with just switching around, you probably won't get to ten k per month. Maybe you will. Then just let me know in the comments if that was the case for you. Um, but 
yeah, that's everything for today's video. Maybe you found this helpful, then leave a like, subscribe. If you want more students for your dojo, check out the first link in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.